Hi, welcome back to CJ's Kitchen. Thanks for joining me again. Today I have something a little different for you. I have some products to review. Um, I have just two today. I actually ordered these items back in December and um, some of them arrived pretty quickly, but I, there's some that are still on the way. So I'm just gonna do a couple here and there until, um, until I've reviewed them all. Um, I did this at the request of a grandniece of mine who at Christmas time um, had posted a video showing a bunch of products and she was curious about them. She's on a really tight budget so she was concerned about knowing how they performed before she um, bought any. She's a young parent and um, she likes to you know, give her kids fruits and vegetables and things and she specifically was hoping that I would um, do a video on some items dealing with the fruits and stuff. I didn't get those in yet. So the first items I'm going to do are these egg cups. These are silicone cups for poaching eggs. Um, and there's two of them here. And also I'm going to do this spiralizer. So this is from uh, Variety Land and they call it the Very Healthy Spiral Vegetable Slicer. So I do want to make the following statement. First of all, this is not a sponsored post. I did get all of these products from Amazon, but they are in no way sponsoring me. Um, I did get these products at a discount, but that's in no way going to affect my review. The second thing is that you should know that I am not a big gadget person. So surprisingly enough, I have a lot of tools and things in my kitchen, but there's quite a few that just go unused. And because of that, I've become very, um, reluctant, if you will, to buy a lot of products. I just find specifically things that are really only intended for a single purpose. I don't know what else I would ever use these for besides poaching eggs. So um, keep that in mind. So with that said, I do have a few um, single purpose items in my um, kitchen that I do use enough that I have not gotten rid of them. Here pretty soon I think I'm going to go through and do a purging. Uh, but I do have, for instance, a melon baller. I have a um, apple slicer core, which is actually, I'm not real happy with the one I have. Um, and there is a product that I hope to review in the future that I have not ordered yet. And I do have one of those egg slicers. Somewhere in the house I have a garlic press as well. I never use the garlic press anymore. I actually might have even given it away. It might not be here anymore. Um, I actually use my uh, microplane for that. And typically if I'm making something with garlic, I'm using uh, things like limes or lemons or you know nutmeg or parmesan and I use the microplane for all of it. So I really like um, to have tools that um, do multiple uses. So I find most of the time if I think I can do it, with the tools I have, I usually don't bother to buy the single use tools because they spend more time in the drawers than they do uh, being used. Um, but for the few that I do have, I do find they are quite useful. Um, just keep that in mind as you're uh, deciding what to buy or not to buy is, are you really gonna use it enough to make it worth the purchase? So again, the first item is these egg poaching cups. There's two of them. I will say packaging wise, they came really simply packaged. They were just um, kind of folded up together and they were in a plastic wrapping, which I found really nice because, you know, there wasn't a ton of, it's just always good not to see a lot of extra packaging. Um, however, there were no instructions with this. So I know how to poach an egg and I have a pretty good idea how to use these. On top of which, right after I ordered them, I happened to see a review of them by Tabby Eats. And if you've never watched their channel, I will post the link below so you can check them out. They're a fun couple of guys and they do some really great videos. Um, so luckily I did see theirs and I did take their advice. Um, so with this, um, after washing them, of course, and making sure they were thoroughly dry, um, I did oil them uh, lightly. I used my um, oil mister. I have one of these. Uh, you pump it up and you spray it and it leaves a nice mist of olive oil. So I did use that and then I wiped it um, with a paper towel. Not sure I should have done that. Um, I may have wiped off too much. So 
What you do is you put the egg in the cup and then you put the cups into your already boiling water. I did reduce the water to a simmer like I would any other time that I'm making um, eggs, but I turned it uh, maybe not as low as simmer as I normally do. So um, you're gonna set your timer for however long you normally like your eggs, and theoretically they're supposed to be done. So I typically cook my eggs for four minutes. But at the four minute mark when I checked them, they were still nowhere near done. You could see um, that, the, that the whites were very clear still and they needed more time. I ended up um, with a total of 11 minutes before I felt that the eggs were done enough to, um, to try. And I found um, the act of lifting these out of the boiling water was a little difficult. I had to use tongs because you've got that hot steamy water and these just don't, they don't stick up enough to just be able to reach down and grab them. And I'm not sure what the holes were, are for. Maybe in Japan or China, maybe people would hook um, a chopstick through it. I don't know, can't figure out what the holes are for and maybe it has something to do with getting them out but I found it difficult. I guess I could have used my spider and lifted them out. Um, I ended up using my tongs and it was a little bit precarious because I only grabbed it by one side. So I found um, one egg came out pretty easily. The other one um, was a little more difficult and that egg left a lot of residue in the egg cup. Uh, so I found as far as nonstick, not great. In addition to that, I believe that these created an insulating barrier that kept the eggs from cooking in the time that they ought to. Um, 11 minutes is a really long time for a poached egg. So um, that wasn't so good. Um, and last but not least, they weren't done equally. So one egg was much more done than the other. And um, my poor husband, I ended up, uh, I had shot <clears throat> the video of, um, the end of the process and uh, shown, you know, how, how done it was. And, uh, and then I took a bite and tested it. And um, because of that, I ate that egg. I didn't feel like it was right to give my husband one I'd already eaten off of, um, eggs being so small and everything. But as it was, his egg ended up being quite undercooked and he was not, not, not impressed. Um, you know, he was nice about it, but. <laughs> so overall, I these were uh, $6.99 for, t it comes with two, and uh, I, I don't think they're worth it. Um, it's very inexpensive. Um, I will say that um, the reviews I saw on Amazon when I checked it out, um, actually today, <laughs> uh, they did comment on, it took them a Different people said it took a while to decide to um, learn how much water to use, and so I don't know if that's a factor. Maybe I had too much water in the pan. Um, I don't really see how that should matter unless they're meant to rest on the bottom of the pan, um, like a real like an egg would if it weren't in these cups. But I thought the whole point was, I don't know. Anyway, I uh, wasn't impressed. So I would say skip these and just cook the eggs the way you always do. Um, if you think about it, so I had the pan plus these two uh, cups plus a pair of tongs that I had to use to make the eggs where normally I would use the pan and a slotted spoon and I'd be done. So in terms of reducing tools, certainly not reducing any tools using these. And in terms of simplicity, it wasn't any easier. I don't think it's worth it. I wouldn't spend the money on it. So moving on, the next item I have is this uh, very healthy uh, spiral vegetable slicer. And this is from a company called Variety Land. Um, my thoughts on this, uh, again, I, I wouldn't spend the money. I wouldn't recommend spending the money on it. This was $8.99. I found it was a lot of work. It made my hands very sore. Now I do uh, probably have some arthritis in my hands and I spend most of the day at my day job, 40-hour um, week job, 
on a computer typing and doing data entry and things like that. And then I do uh, play video games and um, of course I edit videos. So I spend a lot of time on my computer both at work and at home and it could be that that's contributing to, um, to my hands getting tired quickly, but I found that that was a lot of work. It was difficult to hold on to the vegetable. I didn't get a, um, a nice long spiral out of it. Um, I did find uh, when I played with it, I played with it a little bit yesterday, and I did find that when I got down to the end, um, that the uh, once I was able to put the cap piece on, it took a little bit to figure that out. At first I was turning the cap and I didn't have a firm enough hold on it and I was actually shredding the top of the carrot with that thing. But once you get the pressure right, um, it, that does help. And I did then get nice long spirals, but uh, by that point my carrot was almost done. So I only got a few more, um, a little bit more of the carrot and then um, it was too far inside to twist it any further. So you end up with a chunk about this big of carrot or vegetable, whatever vegetable you're spiralizing left, um, that you're gonna have to slice up or use in some other manner. I think for the money, you might as well just buy a julienne peeler because that's pretty much what you end up with with this product. Um, and I think I paid about the same price, maybe even a little less for my julienne peeler. I use it all the time and really like it. I would really like to have a spiralizer, but I think it'd be worth it to spend um, the extra um, 10 or $15 to get, um, to get one that uh, is a full unit that holds the vegetable and that you has a handle that you crank. I hope to purchase one of those soon and try it next and see if it's worth the money. I know those really um, have a wide range spiralizers of um, very inexpensive to quite expensive. So um, I don't know if a 20, 20, 25 dollar version is going to cut it or not, but hopefully I'll be able to try that soon and uh, share that with you. So please let me know if you um, would like to see more product reviews and what you would like me to review. I'd like to know if you'd be interested in a giveaway of these items. I'm certainly not going to use them again and even though I'm not happy with them you may find that they work fine for your purposes so do let me know. I might consider doing a giveaway. Um, so with that said I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. Please do let me know as always in the comments below and don't forget me to give me the thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Please do subscribe and share so that you don't miss any videos. And thank you so much again for tuning in. Until next time when I see you here in my kitchen.